back online. And I think we've come to a mutual understanding. Is that correct, sir? Yep. Okay, then let's leave this at a mutual understanding. I understand that you're completely intelligent, and I certainly hope that you understand and respect my uh, service and time as well as an air traffic controller, and I do provide the best I possibly can. And uh, I don't mean any harm. I just know what I've been doing for 20 years to be correct. And so I, that's the only problem I have is when somebody stands up and says no, and then I gotta open up the 711065 and I gotta tell them, no, that's not what it says. You know, so it, this is not the case here with you because you were totally correct in lying in under the class Bravo. Uh, but in the future, a good pilot would contact the approach or departure controller and just let him know he's there and make sure that the approach or departure controller will understand he's on frequency just, and I mean just, in case he's got to say, hey, look out, here comes somebody that you don't see. That's all, that's all. Okay, so that's fine. My actions weren't irresponsible because I was talking to Tao, but if you feel that when you're controlling, you would like me to monitor your frequency just in case, then that's okay. Yeah, that's all I'm looking for because Tower didn't control uh, Tower, and I know you're listening, they Private did not message. coordinate with me and let me know, you know, uh, Tower's got to coordinate, and they did not do that. Okay, do you believe that your phraseology and everything is exactly as the FAA says it should be? Uh, for the most part, I am correct. Uh, some things I like to take a little slang on, uh, but for the most part, I am correct, yes, sir. Okay. Correct. I think that's uh, diddly it. So, this was the approach control. Private message. Shut the hell up. So, uh, <laughs> this was the approach controller for the Flight Simulator X server. I just happen to be an eavesdropper, forgive me, if you guys end up watching this. Um, I take this as a learning experience. Um, I am a student pilot. I have my cockpit set up here. I don't like to bag on anybody. But I thought this was interesting. I get on to the server. Uh, you know, I'm well out of class Bravo. I'm doing puddle jumping with the uh, Gorman Goose because it has that capability. It is a, uh, a sea craft, per se. Um, but anyways, yeah, I get on, and, and these guys, the, uh, I think a 747 or 737, or one of the pilots in the server was having, um, they were having some issues, or he, he was having issues with the uh, approach controller, and uh, so the admin came in and told him, to go in on a specific frequency so other people wouldn't hear, but I just happened to hear them say what frequency. Said, ah, might as well listen. You know, there's no harm in listening, right? Well, uh, again, I apologize if you guys end up watching this. Um, I just thought it was very interesting uh, on Flight Simulator that all these people with, with real world experience are on here. This makes me feel better. Uh, being on this server, knowing that there is these professionals, there are these professionals on this server. So uh, I thank you guys very much for your services. I uh, I apologize for the idiots um, that the controller guy was talking about. Uh, not anyone in particular, but I think I understand who idiots are. You know, people that just jump on and think it's a game. Eh, it's really not a game it's it's a simulator and you treat simulator with as most authenticity as you can and um, and um, you know you just you build experience through communications on the radio as well as tactical experience with the controls if you have setups um, so yeah I just want to thank you guys very much I want to thank the approach controller, all the pilots, the tower controller, the ground controller, 
I thank all of you for all of your service on Flight Simulator. It uh, really helps me develop my radio communication skills and uh, will sharpen me as a pilot by the time I get in. Thank you very much. Have a good day.